Okay, well, anybody watching my channel or following my channel knows that I like to share uh, the best methods, and they may be old methods and new methods. And here we have an old method of um, storing uh, cash and credit cards, a leather wallet. And you know what? I never, ever use it. So I was browsing online the other day and I came across a couple of, uh, well, several of these, uh, what I call digital uh, wallets. But it's just that they hold the digital technology of today. Uh, so I suppose they're just hard case wallets. And I looked at several and narrowed my search down to these two. I've forgotten the name of them, so I'll put the name up on the screen. And I bought them both, and I'm going to very briefly go through the features of both and then tell you which one I find I'm actually using. So you know what? You often have to get something home before you realise, and after a few try tryouts, you realise which is the one that you use. So let's start with this, this one. It's uh, beautifully designed, very light, very rounded. I've got an average size hand, but it fits perfectly. Very compact, got a very simple to use fastener, and there you are. And then it kind of features this gusset type accommodation for various cards, etc. So let's start filling them up. When I first saw this in a review, I thought, well, that's a bit Mickey Mouse. They're going to fall out. But you'd be surprised how well they grab. And when you open the thing, they don't fall out. Now, let's put a little bit of cash in. That's English currency. I actually found there was room to put a few coins. You often need coins for parking meters and toll bridges. So there you are, I've tucked them into the last gusset. And at some stage in the future, I want to buy a backup emergency mobile phone that is almost as slim as a credit card. It's just I can't get hold of one yet. All right, so that's the first one. Fairly full, but I could put more in it. Doesn't rattle. Everything is nice and compact. Goes straight into my pocket. Is a great size. And when I open it, there you are. And I'm, you know, it does what it says. So that's the first one. The second one is this more metallic looking one, slightly bigger, and it's got two opening like clamshell compartments. One is for cards, the other is for cash, and they're named as such. So let's open the cash one. And in there, you put your folded notes and you can put a fair bit in. I don't particularly like this piece of chrome because it's going to smear. But then in the other part, let's empty the first one. In the other part, you've got a coin dispenser. And if I just put a few coins in there. And that fits in there. You close it and then when you open it. The coins come out. Now that's neat, isn't it? You take whatever coin you want out and the remainder goes back in there and then you close it. So that's the coin side. Now the, the card side, similar with a little band for the cards and I'm just throwing in a handful. Now this is good, but unlike the other one where you can select each separate card, these are all banded together. But you've obviously got quite a lot of storage and there's a lot more room in there but I do find that the coins rattle so I think you've probably worked out which is my favorite out of the two and they're very good both of them this is the one I really like it's compact it's slim it's got a lovely feel to it it's beautifully designed well made you know it's got a hidden concealed hinge so no doubt I could drop that down the loo it would be pretty stupid but I think it would float um, go swimming with it yeah if you went down by the beach and there's nowhere to leave your um, valuables I would be confident to put that in the pocket of my trunks when I went into the sea but you'll have to double check that it is waterproof rather than water repellent but this is a real beauty I love this one 
so functional. So um, thank you for watching and please do subscribe. Um, I hope I'm not chasing away my woodworking viewers, but I do like to share things that I discover that I really like and that are functional. And uh, what else can I say? Thank you for watching.